بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the talk of today would be about the another monitor which is partial pressure of carbon dioxide this is a very important monitor at AVG when you read that you have to interpret the value which is meant by this value of partial pressure of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a product of the metabolism of all the substrates lipid carbohydrates and protein and the carbon dioxide stores is very large. This is preferred stores. A patient with a person with 70 kilograms of carbon dioxide, 110 liters is too much. 100 liters are present in bone and fat. And this is the stability of this is if something wrong happened, especially on the ventilators, it stays to be to reach to the steady state. But uh, about five liters are present in the skeletal muscles, and this needs hours to reach to the steady state. This is if you are dealing with a ventilator. But five liters are present in the bursa, and this needs about minutes in order to, be, to reach to the steady state. So the carbon dioxide in the tissue is usually about 50, 50 millimeter mercury. This is in the normal tissue. So. And, uh, and uh, uh, decreases, so this is the uh, concentration gradient or the partial pressure gradient, and this is 50 in the tissues. Uh, and the uh, venous uh, side about uh, 46, uh, and the arterial uh, 40, and uh, in the alveoli nearly 40. So it goes from the tissues uh, down to the to the lung. So this is the concentrations of the of the carbon dioxide or the partial pressure. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide is very important when you talk about carbon, its relations with pH. Uh, how much the change in the in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide affect the pH, and what is the relation between carbon dioxide and bicarbonate this is important that's why when you when you look at that you have to study these uh, golden rules number one the uh, change in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide delta change change by 10 millimeter mercury of carbon dioxide will uh, affect the ph by 0.08 this means that if there is a retention of carbon dioxide by 10 millimeter mercury this will uh, make a drop in the ph acidosis uh, by 0.08 instead of point, instead of being 7.4, it will be 7.32. And the reverse also occurs if there is washout of carbon dioxide by 10 millimeter mercury, this will lead to some sort of alkalosis and the pH will increase by 0.08 instead of 7.4, it will be 7.48. Acute respiratory changes, uh, retention of carbon dioxide or washout of carbon dioxide by whatever the number, say retention of carbon dioxide instead of being 40, it became, uh, became 60 or 70, something like that. The kidney will not be able to compensate uh, because uh, the composition of the kidney is an enzymatic activity. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide will increase and will stimulate car carbonic anhydrase, and the carbonic anhydrase will take time to reclaim or to regain or to, uh, to form bicarbonate. So simply, if uh, this retention of the carbon dioxide, wash up the carbon dioxide, the acute response of the kidney will be 3 to 4 mL equivalent uh, per liter. So retention of carbon dioxide 20 to be, and instead of being 40, it became 60, the bicarbonate will increase by 3 to 4. Carbon dioxide washed out, in, uh, washed out instead of being 40, became, uh, say, uh, 25 or 30, the kidney will lose uh, 3 to 4 mL equivalent uh, of carbon dioxide, of bicarbonate. But uh, the chronic uh, problem, problem is something else because there is, uh, we have good, we have got time, and so there is some sort of compensation. So increasing the carbon dioxide by one millimeter mercury will be associated with retention of the bicarbonate by 0.35. And this is very important when you are talking with a patient with COBD. A patient with COBD, say, if he's having the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 60 and he's in, 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 in the city state, this means that uh, he will retain 20 by 0.35 or 7. So the bicarbonate, instead of being uh, 24, 24 plus 7 will be 31. So in this case, uh, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 60, the bicarbonate will be 31. This is a uh, very important to look. Also, the same thing in chronic uh, respiratory alkalosis. Currently, this is also that we have good time for the stabilization to reach to the steady state. Loss of one millimeter mercury of, uh, of carbon dioxide will be associated with loss of uh, bicarbonate point 0.5. This should be understood by heart. Also, when you look at the carbon dioxide, you have to 
See the relation between carbon dioxide and the partial pressure of oxygen. This is very important. Because if the carbon dioxide is some sort of retention of carbon dioxide, this is hypoventilations. Hypoventilations, uh, but uh, the oxygen is normal. The alveolar arterial gradient is normal, so there is no problem in the gas exchange. This is a hypoventilatory problem, and this is the the this is the uh, the carbon dioxide would be high, and the alveolar arterial gradient would be normal. This is a hypoventilatory no problem. But when the carbon when the uh, uh, alveolar arterial gradient is high, in this case uh, the carbon dioxide will be low. This is a lung diffusion problem. But when you look at uh, this is alveolar arterial gradient is high. And the carbon dioxide is high. This means that uh, we have problem for the diffusion of the gases, and at the same time there is some sort of, of hyperventilation. So this is uh, the relation between the partial average of carbon dioxide and oxygen. You have to understand it. Alveolar gra gradient. This is a normal value. If I2 multiplied by the H plus 2.5, this is the normal. If it is increased, this is uh, mean, this means that there is uh, some some pathology for the diffusion of the uh, of the uh, oxygen. And this is the alveolar oxygen. So I mean that if I2 multiplied by the barometric pressure minus the water vapor. Uh, uh, minus uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide on the respiratory quotient, and this will give you the alveolar oxygen. So the alveolar oxygen can be calculated, and this is arterial oxygen. So you you measure it, uh, you measure it in the ABG. The two together, you can you can see how much uh, the alveolar gradient. This is uh, another important point when you look at the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. You have to correlate partial pressure of carbon dioxide with the arterial oxygen. Another important point uh, for the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, when you look at it uh, and correlate it by carbonate, increasing the partial pressure of carbon dioxide will be associated with simulations of carbonic anhydrase, and so more bicarbonate will be formed. This bicarbonate, which is formed, uh, it is retained but in exchange with chloride. So in this case, uh, by high partial pressure of carbon dioxide, especially in chronic state, uh, Carbonic acid will be simulated. There will be retention of carbon dioxide, loss of of uh, chloride. This is electroneutrality. And in this case, uh, C, as the patient with uh, COBD. The patient with COBD, and he's having, as I've mentioned before, carbon dioxide is 60 instead of uh, being uh, 40. So the bicarbonate, as I've mentioned before, H1 will be associated with retention 0.3. The bicarbonate will be 31. This is partial pressure of carbon dioxide 60. This is what will be 31. The normal value of bicarbonate plus chloride is 130. So this means that there will be concomitant degrees of the chloride, and the two together will stay, remain in the form of in the value 130. So this is very important one. So you, you, when you look at the patient with COBD, is having carbon dioxide large, carbon dioxide is uh, activated, bicarbonate is retained, chloride is lost. And uh, the two, the, the, and the anion gap in this patient will be normal anion gap, would be 12. The reverse also occurred if there's hyperventilations, there is loss of bicarbonate, gain of the chloride, and the anion gap is uh, normal. This is another relation between carbon dioxide and bicarbonate. We come to the uh, an important fact we have, we have mentioned before that the carbon dioxide is the metabolism of the car carbohydrate, lipid, and proteins. Carbon dioxide, which is produced in the cells, passes to the extracellular fluid to the blood, and then the blood is ventilated by the lung. So, what determines this? This is the, how much is produced, uh, and uh, about the alveolar minute, how much is uh, executed by the lung. Normally, this is a steady state. Uh, the production of carbon dioxide equals uh, the uh, excretion of carbon dioxide, and the carbon dioxide, the uh, pressure of carbon dioxide, is, is uh, remains normal. Overproduction here we usually we seldom meet uh, a chronic set of overproductions uh, and this is uh, overproduction hypermetabolic state uh, but not to the degree. The most common things in critical care is uh, liver steatosis where the uh, the infusions of, of uh, carbohydrate is larger than normal then the uh, maximum level which is 7.5 milligram per kilogram per weight per minute and this will lead to uh, uh, fat depositions in the liver and the carbohydrates uh, will be converted un into fat in the liver this is called liver cytosis conversions into of carbohydrate to fat the respiratory quotient is 8 not 0.8 is it so consumption of one, one, one molecule of, of oxygen will be associated with production of uh, 8 molecules of carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide 
in the process of conversion of carbohydrate to fat in the in the problem of uh, liver cirrhosis. So liver cirrhosis uh, will be associated with overproduction of uh, carbohydrate, uh, fever, and liver enzymes are high. This is uh, the only things I remember. But the uh, uh, the problem for the hypoventilation or hyperventilation uh, is the problem of the alveolar minute volume. That's why this uh, come to this formula. This is partial pressure of carbon dioxide is determined by the carbon dioxide output multiplied by metric pressure minus weight of vapor. Uh, uh, over what? Over this is the tidal volume minus the space respiratory rate. Min this is uh, the alveolar minute. This alveolar minute, the tidal volume, sometimes there's a decrease in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases uh, with a decrease of the tidal volume. Decrease in the tidal volume, this is in case of pneumonia, in case of aspirations, uh, in case of pneumothorax, uh, and in cases of uh, uh, spasm. Uh, this is the, the, due to high dynamic, the, the hyperdynamic inflation so, and increase in the, and the uh, residual volume and the total volume becomes uh, uh, small. Uh, and that is based in the case, as in the cases of uh, pulmonary embolization, respiratory data, uh, the use of hypnotic or something to depress the respiratory center. So this is uh, very important to take care while you are interpreting the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. These are the causes of increase and accordingly the cause of decrease. So when you look at the respiratory, Acidosis, this partial pressure of carbon dioxide is more than 40. This means that uh, the problem usually is primary, primary the hypoventilations. This is hypoventilations. This is leads to uh, uh, primary hyperventilations. Uh, hyperventilation leads to increase in the carbon dioxide. Hyperventilations, uh, hypoventilations leads to increase in the carbon dioxide. This is a primary problem, this retention of carbon dioxide. But sometimes uh, these uh, 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 hypoventilations with uh, accumulation of carbon dioxide may be secondary. When you, when you come back to the relations between primary and secondary, uh, increasing the carbon dioxide that may be a primary due to hyperventilation, so, or increasing the carbon dioxide may be secondary to uh, increasing the bicarbonate. In the case of uh, metabolic alkalosis, metabolic alkalosis, uh, carbon and bicarbonate increase uh, will be associated with concomitant increase in carbon dioxide. And in this case, this is metabolic alkalosis. But this is, uh, if it is primary, it is respiratory acidosis. Uh, in this case, uh, these uh, hypoventilations are uh, increased in the uh, carbon di dioxide, uh, will be associated with increase in the bicarbonate, but it is uh, respiratory acidosis. When it comes to the respiratory alkalosis, this is a wash out of carbon dioxide. Wash out of carbon dioxide, we usually feel that uh, in a lot of things. This is due to hypoxia, due, due to uh, chemoreceptors, uh, hypoxia or acidosis, uh, or sometimes central or the mechanical receptors, uh, uh, the uh, uh, refractor or the lung uh, uh, stretch receptors uh, or skitter receptors, uh, or sometimes psychologically, or head trauma. Usually, the patient uh, uh, enters into severe hyperventilation, hyperventilation with respiratory alkalosis. So hyperventilation wash out of carbon dioxide will be associated with wash out or decrease in the bicarbonate. This is a case of uh, respiratory alkalosis. But sometimes this is a secondary. Second to what? Second to metabolic uh, 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 acidosis. In which there is a decrease in the bicarbonate as a metabolic acidosis uh, and this is a wash out of carbon dioxide and in this case this is uh, the pH is metabolic acidosis. So this is the difference between respiratory and metabolic primary and uh, uh, secondary, whether it's patria acidosis or spatria acidosis, uh, whether it is primary or secondary, this should be considered. The same thing uh, here to be repeated, the pH is the relation between bicarbonate and, uh, and carbonic acid carbon dioxide, and this is hydrogen ion. So the hydrogen ion with the acidosis depends, by, this depends on the batch pressure of carbon dioxide and the bicarbonate. Usually the relation between them, increasing the carbon dioxide will be associated with increasing the bicarbonate in order, in order to keep this uh, the hydrogen ion normal. So uh, when I say that there is uh, some sort of primary retention of carbon dioxide, this carbon dioxide will be retained, the bicarbonate will be increased due to summation of carbonic anhydrase, and this is a respiratory acidosis. But sometimes this picture, the carbon dioxide increase in carbon dioxide increase in bicarbonate is due to metabolic. This is in a metabolic uh, alkalosis, uh, there is a tension of bicarbonate, and this will be associated with the tension of uh, carbon dioxide, but the pH here is, uh, 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 is metabolic. Uh, alkalosis uh, is high. So this is here, the pH is low. This is respiratory acidosis, retention of carbon dioxide, respiratory acidosis, pH is acidotic low. And the carbon dioxide, in this case, uh, uh, is, is high as compensatory, but uh, the uh, the compensatory uh, increase in carbon dioxide due to metabolic alkalosis uh, 
bicarbonate is high in this case the pH is high the same thing uh, when you come to this is uh, the pH this is uh, the hydrogen ion decrease this is acidotic acidotic this is the retention of carbon dioxide associated with the retention of bicarbonate this is acidotic so we have to differentiate between primary and secondary whether uh, the carbon dioxide retention or the carbon dioxide wash out uh, is it primary retention of carbon dioxide associated with retention of bicarbonate or primary or secondary retention due to retention of bicarbonate itself? Uh, this is acidotic, this is alkalotic. Okay. So this is to conclude that uh, when you look at the carbon dioxide, define it is the primary problem or secondary problem. When you look at the carbon dioxide, you have to look at its relation to the chloride, the normal and in gap, including the carbon dioxide, be associated with increase in the bicarbonate, decrease in the chloride and normal and in gap. Decrease in the partial of carbon dioxide will be associated with decrease in the bicarbonate uh, with the normal and with increase in the chloride and normal and in gap. The relation between carbon dioxide and oxygen in, in, in the problem of uh, hypoxia, better gradient, uh, and this is hyperventilation, hyperventilation, something like that. And it is due to hyperventilation, so lung diffusion of both of them. And the relation of partial pressure of carbon dioxide with the pH. Uh, uh, and this is uh, very important. And the golden rules, uh, the pressure of carbon dioxide, its relations uh, as golden rules, uh, is bicarbonate. And thank you.